Hi, welcome to Buzz, Indiana's underground business voice. I am here with John McCardle and Summit College uh, Financial? Planning. Planning. Mm -hmm. Well, I got most of it right. right. <laughs> I'm, right. of course, doing my Italian version of the show today <laughs> by murdering the human language or the English language. Um, college funding, I mean, you, let, let's let's talk about that. Really, you're, you're a financial planner. Yes. By day, I'm a financial advisor, yes. But you have a very unique way, a very unique value proposition in the way you have packaged what you do. Yes. And that is this college planning concept. Talk to me about that. We started doing college planning advice about six, seven years ago. Okay. As a result of seeing a lot of our financial planning clients come in and ask about how do we save for college. So our advice traditionally was buy a 529 plan and put everything in Johnny's name and then save for retirement. Okay. Because you can always borrow for college, you can't borrow for retirement. Okay. Well, we found out that that need for that advice yeah. started to grow exponentially. Okay. And so we thought, well, instead of being, you know, part time at it, yeah. let's carve out a niche yeah. and become experts in it. Sure. Well, it took us a little over a year and a half, get all of our certifications, become nationally certified college planning specialists, yada, yada, yada. And you, now you're, now I, I don't want to, I don't want to blow over that. You are one of like four, four in the state that are, na that are certified by who? Nationally, the National Institute for Certified College Planning Specialists. Okay. So somebody um, was, with some credibility. Yes. It was developed by Rick Darvis. Okay. Um, one of the leading CPAs in the country for college planning specialists. Okay. Okay. Um, and so uh, and going back, you, you, you said here's a niche mm -hmm. that, we can, that we can exploit and take advantage of, but here's the need really yeah. and that a, a pain that's growing. Why is that growing? Um, because the cost of college has grown probably 25 to 30 percent over the last four years wow. whereas the average family household income has not okay and it's a planning thing where mom and dad wake up 17 years down the road and go uh oh yeah now Johnny or Sarah is going to college and we've got nine months to find a school and yada 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 so we started out going through several different strategies you know the common myth is is well we're in it just to sell insurance or annuities or whatever sure sure and Early on, that was the, the instinct to do. Yeah. Now we found out that, legitimately speaking, that's the absolute wrong strategy to approach it. Really? really? Um, the college planning arena actually breaks down into four separate strategies. Okay. The first one is the academic and the college selection piece. Okay. Um, to give you a good example, we have two families attending, um, or their, their students are attending Butler University yeah. for the sum total of five grand less out of their pocket wow. than attending Purdue University, and mom and dad are both 10 minutes off Purdue's campus. Wow. Um, the, and that was just through the selection process. The college selection piece. So you're, so you're a financial planner that's actually getting involved helping mom and dad and the student choose what college they go to. Yep. And that, So that's really opening up the array of strategy or, or at least uh, of, of things that you have to know absolutely in order to help them okay absolutely. so going to the other things um, we migrate from there into what we call the financial alignment strategies okay where we'll sit down with mom and dad's CPA and we'll say hey listen we have to bring you know their AGI down to XYZ or ABC dollar and, and amount. translate AGI for everybody um, adjusted gross income okay. it's line 37 of your 1040 tax form <laughs> and when we sit down and we do that why is that important? Because on the FAFSA forms, the free application for federal student aid, okay. that, that particular item mm -hmm. on your tax form is the item that helps establish the parent's contribution amount for and college. Let me, let me translate a little bit for you, John, just in case you know, you're, you're, there's a lot more people out there like me. Okay. You, you, you'll actually sit down and talk to somebody on the way they're, you know, the way they're showing income, like, mm -hmm. especially if they own their own small business, a la like 90% of yes. the rainmakers out there. Absolutely. Um, that, that there's, there's ways that they could show that income that will change their, their, their makeup and, and what, how mm -hmm. much, how much maybe even aid they get. Yes. I'll give you an example. Yeah. We worked with, it took us two years, but we worked with a uh, farmer out of northern Indiana, $4.8 million farming operation. Well, and sitting down with their CPA and strategies, we brought his EFC, the dollar amount per year the Department of Education said he can afford to pay for college, yeah. from $16,000 per student to $20 per student. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, you align that with the proper college selection piece, a yes. school that will take care of 100% of the family need. Wow. Okay? We got, we ended up getting about 90% of a $42,000 college education paid for by a third party. Wow. 
And, you know, can we do that with every single no, person? There's no, guarantee. of course. But at least if there's an opportunity out there, you're making those people aware of that. And I They're think that's, very efficient. I think that's what that, that's one of the things that really, you know, you're you're in a lot. You're you've accumulated a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. that the that in order to get the certification that the average planner may not have. Yeah, they don't. And and and, and really carved out a niche. Yes. Um, what really quick? What are the other two things that we need to know? Um, the tax planning strategies, okay. if I'm able to reduce, especially for a um, self-employed person, those are the perfect individuals for college planning strategies. Okay. But if we can reduce your taxes by $7,000, I just found you a $7,000 scholarship you didn't have to apply for. Okay. Um, last but not least is when we go through, we've got the college selection, the tax strategies, financial alignment, mm -hmm. and then how are we going to pay for what's left? Okay. So we've got some terrific debt reduction strategies. And you're looking strategies. at that far enough ahead of time. Yes. So you've got the resources there to do it. The number one question we're asked is, when do we start planning for college? Yeah. Day one of the freshman year in high school. Yeah, wow. Okay, day one of the freshman year in high school. Yes. That's when you got to do it. Because the, the two biggest academic years for a student is freshman and sophomore, not junior and senior. Oh, Okay. Because that they've already gone through and put most of their the track record the down. GPA, that's uh, right. Okay. And we found out that a lot of these colleges are offering the merit scholarships based on the junior year's academic standard, not the, the senior, senior year. year. Because they, everybody blows it off. Anyway. Exactly. Uh, all right. So uh, there's a couple things I want you, I want to say about your business, and and I think it speaks. I want to I want to use your example to talk to the membership. You know. Um, it is so important for you to really define your niche. If you are not Coca-Cola, you, you cannot afford to own the entire market. And, it, it, and if you're a financial planner, if you're a real estate guy, if you're, if you're a life insurance, if you're one of those guys that get thrown into what we call bloody oceans, where there's a lot of, diff, there's a lot of perceived competitors out there from the general marketplace because they don't understand what you do. Exactly. Um, Picking uh, something like this and running with it, it just it cuts through the market like a, mm -hmm. like a, a, hot, a like a knife through hot butter, mm -hmm. and I, I just want to commend you on it. I think you need I think you just need to repeat it and hammer the market with it, and and I, I think it's a a great uh, it, it's a great you're a great example of, of the power of a niche. Um, who are your strategic partners, real quick? That we I'm could... looking for athletic directors. Okay, I'm looking for guidance directors to okay. high schools because we do a free hour and a half event for high schools for the college night uh -huh. um, that piggybacks on their fast night they give every year mm -hmm. um, and then high school principals okay high school principals athletic directors and guidance counselors are, mm -hmm. are, are those work out to be the best business, the partners that give us the most opportunity to share so, our so if you are another another rainmaker that actually has that as a channel then that would be a good bridge for you too that anybody that's got mm -hmm. the, a significant database of those relationships what's the one thing you'd like to ask our members for right now what's the one thing um you know what that's a great question i think the biggest thing is is letting everybody know that if you're a oh. business owner you are in the perfect spot for college planning okay so if you've got a set of students in high school that you're trying to prepare for college it doesn't come any better as being self-employed as it really now, and, and I Now, and I, I thought he was going to say, meet us in Lafayette tonight. Right. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to give him this cue, and he just dropped the ball right. on me, man. <laughs> where, 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 where are we meeting tonight in Lafayette? We're actually <laughs> we're doing a hub launch, um, a brand-new event um, at the Clarion or the Marriott um, Hotel. Okay, awesome. From 530 to 7. Yep. And uh, we look to have as many people show up as possible. And John's on the board there. They're doing a great job. Get to Lafayette. Thank John McArdle, you've been buzzed. Summit, Summit College Planning. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to get it right. How do they get a hold of you? They can check us out on our website at summitcollegeplanning.com or they can call us at 1-800-848-0274. You've been buzzed.